After receiving back many of these mass air sensors, I think we were right around mid-90s, almost 100 mass air sensors that had been sent back to us for analysis, and we were finding no K&N oil on any of them, we started wondering, well, maybe, you know, what, what is the circumstance that, that oil might come off our filter and contaminate a mass air sensor? We've not seen one yet. So we decided to do some extreme testing, some real-world testing, and see what, what condition does it take to move oil off of our filter to potentially contaminate a mass air sensor. So we decided to look at this whole program. So we set up a test protocol. One of them was we took a brand new 2007 Chevy Silverado truck. We cut a window in the air box and we put a wind meter inside of it. And we wanted to see what is the airflow inside the air box at varying speeds on this vehicle. And we used our own in-house dyno which to perform this test and we captured it on video. What we did is we put the wind meter on the, the, we did some testing to find the sweet spot on the filter where most air was moving through it, where we would get the highest speed. And we decided to measure that under varying driving conditions. But what we found out is under normal acceleration, that vehicle, typical driving like accelerating up an on-ramp, let's say going up on the freeway, getting up to 70 miles an hour, the air moving through the filter was only four miles an hour maximum. Once we got the vehicle up to speed, we were dealing now with only one mile per hour. That is the air moving through the filter. That's the air speed that would have to move the oil off the filter. Four miles an hour, that's walking speed down the hallway. So we took it to an even further extreme and we held it in second gear and we ran the same vehicle all the way to red line, holding it in second gear and we reached a maximum of 12. But if you run the math on it, what you find out is that 10 to 12 miles an hour going through that filter, which is 100 square inches, uh, does translate out to about 90 miles an hour at the throttle body. But you've got to back up. You, you, you know, the, the oil has to come off of the filter, and that's, and that's where the 100 square inches are that has about one ounce of K&N oil on it. We used an additional piece of equipment here at, at K&N in our laboratory, which is an air filtration stand in which an absolute filter is used. If anything gets through the test filter, it gets trapped by the absolute filter. So you weigh it, you have an exact weight in the beginning. So if anything moves through our filter that's put in place, it gets trapped by the absolute and it's going to show up in the weight. So what we did is we took one of our filters and we intentionally over-oiled it by approximately 30%. We put it in that test stand and we ran it at 1,000 CFM for three days straight. And at the end of the three days, there was no detectable weight gain at all by the absolute. And we weighed the filter also to see if any weight had, had left the filter and maybe was trapped in the air ducting or something. Uh, and it had lost no weight at all. So no oil came off of that filter after three days of being subjected to 1,000 CFM.